Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, and today I am playing some golf. I am playing Heroes of the Majors, which is a season from the Heroes of the Masters golf game by Roberto Schiavone. Head over to sportsreplays.net. On the left-hand side, you'll see Roberto Schiavone. Click on that, you'll come to his page. And on the right-hand side, all the catalogs of all his games that he has available. Click on the golf, and you can download the golf and see what they have to play. So the Heroes of the Masters basic set, it's 5 euros, and you need that to play the game. And that comes with the 1910 U.S. Open Championship, so you can get off and running with just the basic set. I wanted a newer set, so I got Heroes of the Majors Yearbook 1997. And this allows you to play some of the newer players like Tiger Woods and Tom Kite and guys like that. And that's what I'll be playing today. And you get four courses with the Heroes of the Majors Yearbook 1997. You get four courses, and you have golfers listed um, for all the different courses. And there's a lot of golfers on here. There really is. So let's play a little bit, shall we? There's two ways to play. Okay, you can play round by round. As you can see, we have Tiger Woods and Tom Kite. They have different... Uh, ratings for each round, and there's even an average rating if you want to use that. And then they have a rating for the hole-by-hole -hole game, and I'll show you how to play that in one second. So first off, what I did last night is I did the Digital to Dice Open, and I used every golfer on the list of this uh, Heroes of the Majors yearbook, 1997. And for the first two rounds, I went just round by round. I gave them one roll, and they got a score. And after two rounds, I, I trimmed the pack down to 30 players. I did the same for round three, and then I cut it down to the final eight. And for round four, I went hole by hole for the final eight players. And I determined a winner that way. And it was really kind of fun. So let me show you how it plays. It's a very, very simple golf game. Okay, so we're going to start by playing a round score. Okay, so we're going to start off with Tiger Woods. And I got my dice roller down here. I have two six-sided dice. Uh, a 10-sided dice if I need it, and then a single six-sided dice as well. So how it does is each golfer is rated A to V. Okay, as you can see, Tiger Woods is H, and Tom Kite is O. The lower, the better, so A is best, and V is the worst. And then you roll the dice. Lower numbers are better. Okay, so we're going to roll the dice here, and we get a 7. So 7 on column H. 7 on column H would be a 70. Okay, so Tiger Woods shoots a 70, and since it's a par 72, he is minus 2 after round 1. Tom Kite now. So we're rolling off of column O for Tom Kite. And, oh, that's terrible. A 12 on column O. Okay, so when you roll a 2 or a 12, those are wild cards. Okay, so what happens now? So I was rolling off of column O. I need to roll a single-sided dice, and that's going to shift me... To the right so it's actually a bad round so let's roll here so it's a two so instead of column o i'm rolling from column q okay so i go o p to q so now i'm rolling on column q and i roll an eight on column q and that is a 79 so that was a bad round for him so he is actually plus seven if my math is correct so let's go to tiger woods now who's minus two so now we go to round two and now he's rolling off of d column d okay so let's roll the dice for tiger and now if you roll a two i just rolled a 12 a 12 is bad if you roll a two you roll a single-sided dice and go backwards so you get a better round rating supposedly so but now we roll a five off of column d so column d if i look at the chart that is a 65 he is kicking it right now so a 65 that is seven under par so that brings him to minus nine he is really going to town here so i'm looking at column g because we're in round two column g and that's a five and that's not bad at all that's a 68 in column g okay so he he is four under par and that brings him down to a three over i go to round three and tiger is a c he's getting better here in round c uh, round three. So an eight. So I go to C, eight, and holy cow, that's a 65 again. So he gets a 65, so he is seven under. So now he is 16 under here after three rounds. There's going to be no catching him right now. So I'm rolling off a of column D. Tom Kite is column D. I roll a seven, and that is a 
66. So again, it's a good score. And that is, I believe that is six under par. So now he'll go to minus three. And now the final round, it is a G. We're rolling off of column G. And that's a five. And so that's a 68. So he's under par again. He is four under par. So he finishes minus 20. Now, when I played last night, he actually finished minus 19. So that was pretty close to what he finished. So let's roll here. So column H will finish up kite, a six in column H. And that is a 70. And that is two under. So he'll finish five under. So that's the quick play way of playing the game and that's how i did the round by round for all i think it was 46 golfers that i did uh in the first three rounds last night actually two rounds and then i cut it back but you get the idea so i went round by round by round and you can just continue on that for the entire way like i did here and get a final score now you can also play hole by hole it does take longer but let me show you how that's done as we do we'll do nine holes here so you flip the page and there's another chart for hole by hole, okay? And there's also, again, a 2 is a special shot, and a 2 is good, and a 12 is a disaster, okay? So I rolled a couple of those last night. I had Ernie Els get a special shot, and it was a hole of one. So he got a hole of one last night playing his game. And there was another golfer, and I forget who it was, and I rolled a disaster, and it was 7 over par. He got an 11 on a par 4. So he basically was blown out of the water. So let's continue on here. So now we're going to play hole by hole. And, and I like that there's different options in these games because the round is fun when you're playing in bulk. But hole by hole, if I was going to play a small group, hole by hole is fun. So it's the same thing. It's two six-sided dice. And here we go. So a seven. For, now I'm rolling off a of column B the entire time for Tiger Woods and Tom Kite is a C. So a seven on column B is a par. So the par up here is, looks like it's going to be a four. So he's, no, what I'll do is I'll just going to keep even and in, in under. So he's going to be even. Okay. So it's going to go to kite now. Kite on column C is a 12. It's a disaster. Right off the bat, kite is a disaster. So now what we do is we roll the 10 sided die, which is the one in the middle, and we find out what the disaster is. Oh, it is terrible. It is seven strokes over par okay so that's the 11 i talked about last night i got that again so it'd be four plus seven is 11 but i'm only keeping uh I, you could write down whatever you want to do the score or the even on and under par so he is seven over par right now that is just terrible okay so let's roll for woods now hole number two that's an eight on column b that is a par so he remains even and kite now on column c is an 11 and that's a bogey so now he goes to eight over and again you can keep score any way you want you could be putting in the fours and the fives down here if you wanted to i'm just kind of i like to keep track of you know how they're doing um as far as par goes because that's just the score i like to use but you could do it either way you wanted to again you could do you know he got a four and then he got a five then he got a five and he got a three so 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 you could really um you, you could do it any way you wanted to do I'm just kind of doing here so I can keep track of, um, you know, I like to know, you know where they are compared to par. So hole three, Tiger Woods on column B is an eight, and that is a par as well. So he's staying even. Kite now on column C is a four, and that's a birdie. So he'll come back one, so he will go to seven over. Hole number four is an eight on column B. That is even again. Kite on four is a six, column C, and that's even par, so he'll stay at seven over. Hole number five, and you get the feel of what's going on here. You really need a, a something a either way to, to uh, get something besides a par. And eight, and that's par again, so he'll stay at seven. Hole six is a seven. That's even par. So Tiger Woods is paring here. Six is even again. Hole, okay, so a B4. A B4 is a birdie. So he will go to minus one. So that's his first birdie here of round four. Kite rolls a six. That's even par. Hole eight for Tiger Woods on column B is a six. That's even par. He remains minus one. Kite rolls a ten. A ten on column C. Oh, that's still a par, so he'll stay at 7. 
And now finally, hole number nine is an eight. That's even par, so he'll stay at minus one. And a seven is par as well. So there's a lot of pars you can see. There are bogeys, double bogeys, eagles, and the whole bit. There are disasters, but I, any, usually anything between five and nine, five and ten are going to give you the par for the course. So Tiger finishes um, one under. Uh, which is considerably less than what he was doing up here. But that gives you an idea on how the... Uh, so he finished at minus one, and he was uh, plus seven is kind of how that round went. So that's kind of how you play the hole by hole. I find it, it's... Uh, you get different results rather than the quick play round roll versus the hole by hole, but hole by hole is definitely funner, uh, more fun, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, so that is a quick look on Heroes of the Majors, uh, a part of the uh, Heroes of the... Uh, the Masters Basic Set by Robert Giovanni. Uh, again, I think I paid 7 euros to play this game, and I played it all night last night, and I had a lot of fun with it, and I can't wait to go back and play some more. And uh, and, and, and I don't know which, which way I like better. The round-by-round round is really fun because you can do bulk stuff quickly, but the hole-by-hole, hole, it, it that, that is kind of fun too because you see them battling it out, uh, especially when you get the hole-in-one. You can see that, whereas if the round-by-round, round, it's all just kind of included in there. And, the, you know, the disaster scenario was kind of fun too that we had the um, the seven over par for Kite. So fun game, Heroes of the Mages, part of the Heroes of the Massive Basic set. Go to sportsreplays.net to check it out. I'm Dave. I hope you liked this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.